Welcome back to Lake Pickwick in Florence, Alabama for the 11th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Despite reports of tough fishing during practice, it seems that, at least for the moment, fish are biting, with most of the action coming offshore from the deep ledges along the Tennessee River Channel. Right now they're in a summertime, or transitioning out to a summertime pattern. Um, from what I can tell, the spawn's pretty much just over. There still may be a few up there still spawning, but the majority of them are out and they're close to the river channel getting on their summertime patterns. A lot of them are kind of scratching their head as to how come I see them but they won't bite. And uh, when it comes to Tennessee River, you better have some flow. And it's not tidal, so it only goes on and off when they flip the switch at the dam. So if they're not running water, fish aren't interested. Yeah, those are them. They're down. Look at them. Look at the water. This is the University of North Alabama's Colby Harville and John Manor. They marked a school on their electronics. Minutes later, hooked into their fourth fish of the morning. Oh my God, it is good. Is that, oh my God. Oh. Yeah! Thanks. <laughs> Moving on, we'll check in with Dallas Baptist University's Zachary Hines and Reed Foster. Huh. It feels pretty good to actually uh, repeat what you're doing in practice and when it's kind of coming together it calms your nerves a little bit. Uh, I mean crankbait fishing is always fun um, but you know when they start jumping right next to the boat it kind of gets a little uh, nerving and it uh, probably after a long day of doing this n nerves are probably a little bit frayed but uh, you know it's, it's a nice feeling to have three in the boat and they're they're not what's going to blow it out of the water, but it's a good start anyways. Uh, maybe with this cloud cover, we may go get a shallow bite uh, here pretty soon. So, Back on Leland Johnson and Caden Sinclair from the University of Alabama. They've just pulled up on a ledge and are fishing alongside a team from Indiana University. Look at them. Tearing them up, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Little bitty ones. Yeah, you pretty much got to share everything out here. I mean, there's there's some stuff that you just can't do. It's wrong, but as far as this goes, we pulled up probably 175 to 100 yards from them, and then they slowly just pulled in. But then again, they were here first. They could have been doing circles or whatever. It's, it's part of the game, and you let it get to you or you start making fights with it, and then you'll really have a bad day. It's part of fishing. So it's different if you're going down a bank and somebody pulls up in front of you, but out here deep, you're... There's fish all over the place. There's not one spot or I mean one area that you need to. I mean we can catch them all over here. So that's part of it. Fish. Yeah. A good one. Oh yeah. Better fish. I take that one. Ain't bad. Ain't good, but ain't bad. Hey, there is one here for us. I'm telling you what. Number three in the box. Hey, I'm telling you, it's gonna slowly, gradually get better and we're gonna have 28, 29 pounds. We'll check back with Mississippi State's Kyle Alford and Joe Marty. It's been quiet morning this morning. We uh, we should be able to pick up a couple more here in just a minute. Once we just get back lined up. Fishing a different pattern in practice, Alfred and Marty had to adapt at the last minute when the schools they'd been following disappeared. Got it? Yep. Better one? No. Huh? No. Oh, here go. There you go. Like we thought that it was way too early for them to be on the main river ledges now, but that's where we found them today. I feel a little better about five in the box, but at the same time, I really don't because I know what that five is going to do for us, and it's not going to be a whole lot. Uh, so just at least we got broke the ice today. Uh, we go catch five more big ones somewhere else. So we got, like I said, those first three schools we stopped on it this morning. Those fish weren't there, but they'll load up and. 
the big ones live there. So it's just a matter of time. When you got the ice broke, it's just calm down and go fishing yeah, like now. Stay on top of the latest from the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series on Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook or check out our website at collegiatebasschampionship.com.